hopefully at some point every single organization in the NHL will have a Warriors program to where this can continue and keep growing. That's that's what I wanted to mention, and it's and it's right now. Um the Flyers and the Blues are really the only two that these NHL teams are helping. And and one of the shocking things for me was that Vegas has reached out a bunch of times to the Golden Knights and, and their owner, Bill Foley, is a West Point grad. And honest to God, who knows if it's even gotten to his desk. Right. But in the end, they haven't given any money. And, 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 and Mike McKenna's out there. We've interviewed him. He's the Vegas. Um, he does the intermissions, I believe. Lives in St. Louis. He coaches one of the teams. And he loves it. And he had all these great stories about these guys that mean the world to him. And, and he said, I just don't, I just don't, there's no better, there's no better group to try to help. Like, who else would you rather help than these guys? And so, for every NHL team to look to get involved in what Boston and what the Bruins could do, these guys don't need much, by the way. No, they need a ice time. It's a pittance for, for what these teams make. So, yeah, um, so, St. Louis, I think they helped. Sorry, with one all- more thing, one more okay, thing I don't want to forget about Philly. They're so in deep, and they're so uh, really beginning this, hopefully what turns into an avalanche of support from NHL clubs. They give, uh, the guys can go to school, they can go to college for free, and they can get uh, mental health if they need it for free. So talk about setting up and helping out guys who, like I've said before, mean the world to us as a podcast. I just was very excited to be there, and and I, I hope other NHL teams get involved. 